Hello everyone. writing this scene around that time a young black boy Trayvon Martin 16 years old the son of my son the age of my son Ishan you know uh, when Ishan died and Trayvon Martin died soon after Ishan because he was black and he was killed by the cops and it broke my heart I had just lost my own son it broke my heart to think that Trayvon you know didn't have an accident he was killed by the cops so I wrote the scene in Margarita. When we were editing the film, more people were killed. There was Eric Garner, there was Michael Brown. When we were in festivals, a young 12-year-old boy, Tamir Rice, was killed because he was holding a toy gun and the cops killed him. So this is something which is an ongoing issue in, in America and it was amazing how many people came out in protest in New York at the time uh, against these specific incidents. So uh, I, I think the scene in the film actually ended up being something which is so, so relevant today. Underlining the issues that we face in society without preaching and without making it obvious is something I've always loved about Shonali's previous work also. This particular issue of racism is, is something I had not personally experienced and neither I thought that, in, in, especially in the field of filmmaking, you know, the lines are blurred. You don't try to identify people with caste, creed, country, race and all of that. You know, you always try to get, get the teamwork done. But the very same night that we finished this extensive sequence of protest against NYPD for police brutality, I got an email and that just shocked me. This email was from an American crew member and it just didn't shock us Indians, it shocked the American crew members as well. I was actually physically trembling last night because I find it extremely painful and difficult, especially if my crew turn on me like that and, and say things which are absolutely ridiculous allegations and to be racist. In fact, I've lived in this country 20 years and never experienced racism. This is the first time that I've faced racist slurs like that. That they should talk like that about Indians versus Americans was deeply disturbing for me. So, I just didn't want to end Margarita in this way. I just it was, It's been such a beautiful film. We work intensely. <clears throat> I've been to film school in this country. I've worked in this country and I know that this is not how people are and I should not let that get to me. That I've just had the misfortune just a really bad misfortune in New York because we had no money to just take any and anybody. It's, it's kind of difficult to end uh, shooting like this. At this point, we have five days to go. I just, just, just can't wait to get back uh, to India and just look back on the, and the love and commitment and passion with which the Indian crew worked. Where everybody is at least committed to a project. There was a lot of incompetence, huge amount of incompetence, and we're always shouting and you know things are difficult and not happening on time. But that fact that we're all together trying to get something done, get the day made, like that, that feeling of being a team, of being in a team, I miss that, and I didn't get that here. I didn't get that here. It's been an alienating experience for me to shoot uh, in New York. Hi guys, this is Kalki Kekla. Make sure you don't miss out any updates on Margarita with a Straw. Subscribe to youtube.com slash Viacom18movies.